Sengitamu. My name is Hemfe Tsawe Mercedes Beckerhoff. I'm from Oke Owinge. I want to say thank you to Matthew Martinez, my nephew, for giving me this opportunity to showcase my car the cards that my mom taught me how to make a long time ago. My mom, Esther Martinez, people know her as Goop Otsawe. She was the heart of our family and she always like to use nature in her artwork and so I will show you how to do the cards. Okay so let's get started. First of all you want to have your press flowers done ahead of time. Make sure they are fully dry. These are pansies, my mom's favorite flower or actually one of her favorite flowers and this book has a bunch of other press flowers that I've collected on my walks to the river. You can see the dry grass. Uh, they're all different sizes of, of flowers and, and you can choose whatever size flower you want or leaves. And make sure they're in wax paper so that they don't stick to the book. The other thing that you need to have, your other tools, is a little bowl. And we're just going to do one cart today. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you don't need a lot of water. It's probably, if you can see that, about a fourth of a cup. Um, and you'll need the regular Elmer's glue that you get in school. You need a little brush that is kind of feathered like this. And a little handle so that you can spray, I mean, you can stir the glue in the water. You can use a little tweezers like this to handle your flowers or you can use a toothpick. I usually end up grabbing the toothpick and a scissor if you need to and a pencil. A waterproof pen if you need to draw a picture or something on your card. The other one that's really important is your tissue paper. Tissue paper you have to look for paper tissue that does not have designs like this all over the tissue itself. This one will work since it's on the outer part of the tissue. So what you want to do first is take it apart. This one's three ply so I usually just take one of this piece and pull it apart very carefully. As you can see the one ply is starting to tear and that's the one you don't want to use this one with the holes. You toss that to the side. Now I already selected my flowers, the pansies and the little um, wheat that that I want to use for the flower, I mean for the card and the pansies itself. So you just lay your tissue on top here, get it ready for your your glue water which we will mix now. Okay, so you've got your water and now your glue, just, just watch how the clumps will fall into to maybe one more clump like that. That should be enough. And just stir it. Make sure you stir it real good so that all that glue dissolves. And you probably could have a better stirrer than this one. So first thing that I grab, so the bottom part make sure you get all that stirred in really well so I'm going to move these other pansies aside so I don't get them mixed in the water here at least a good minute or two okay okay so now you have your tissue on top of your dry flowers and your pansies. Now you square this up corner to corner as best that you can. Put your finger on the largest flower. Okay, now we're going to then spread the glue water with the fan brush. We we'll start from the center and work out. Now as you do this, you're going to have wrinkles in your tissue, which is exactly what my mom used to say. That's 
what makes the card have more character is when you have all the wrinkles in the in the card itself. Just gently cross over your I try my best to do at least two swipes. Sometimes I do three, but um, two is probably the right amount. So you want to make sure you get the edges done really carefully so that they actually stick down on the paper. And again, you're moving from the center to the outer. I can move my finger now right there because the tissue is held down with the glue water. Now we're going to the other flowers at the base. Now you try real hard not to put a hole in the tissue, but if you do, it's okay. You can still use it. Now you're not looking for perfection in these cards because they're homemade. Otherwise, you can always go to the store and buy you a ready-made card. But these are special because they're, they come from you. Now a long time ago, my mom used to do cards like this also with a... Native women making bread and the oven, the orno, was a piece of paper or material that was cut out. The ashes was pepper and she cut out each section of the lady, the arms, the legs, the dress, the shawl, and then she glued them together on the paper and then do her tissue. So here we are almost to the end of putting our glue down. And again, just carefully go back and make sure you have the edges all glued down with your brush. And I forgot to mention, when you're doing this, make sure you have a surface that you don't really, that you can wipe out, wipe down later, because if you notice, I can, I'm getting some of this glue on this board below, so you can always wipe it off with soap and water. So that's the card. See how it has a big bubble here? I'm gonna try and bring those down a little so they're not just huge bubbles. And again, it's wet, so you're going to have to be really careful because it will tear if you push, press too hard. There's all kinds of techniques I'm sure that people have done with card making, but this is what I remember my mom making. And then she carefully picked it up from the corners so that you don't tear it and then she put it to dry across there's a string across the window where the sun comes through so it would help dry the, the card okay so now that it has dried this is what it looks like and this is a different one that we that we did earlier so that it would dry um, we don't have the pansies in this one because that one's up drying now. So it, it dries and the paper curls like this. So we're going to put it on cotton material and we're going to press it with a hot iron. And I put my iron on the hottest setting, which is cotton. And just press it down so that it is flat flattened as much as possible. And I usually do it on both sides. Turn it around. And it's really important, I don't know, remember if I mentioned this, but you have to use good quality paper, otherwise your paper will come apart with your tissue because you're wetting it. I use the acid-free paper. It's pretty strong. 
Okay, I think that's pretty good. And I will unplug my... That's what it looks like. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is cut the edges. What my mom talked about was she didn't use the scissor or those paper cutters because she liked the jagged look of the cutting. So we will get as close to the edge as possible to save save the paper and the um, press flower as much as possible. There. You just go all the way around. So this card is yours, so you can do whatever you want to do as far as cutting, but I just like to follow what, what my mom used to do. It just kind of reminds me of our working with together on the cards. Just remember your flowers have to be dried in advance and pressed. And sometimes they break, so you've got to press more than one flower. You have to press down pretty hard on this. And you can also use the corner of uh, the edge of a sharp table. And there's your card. And then you will fold it. Fold it in half. and you use another clear paper for the inner part of your card so you can write your note. So we have that. And then you have your, your envelope, depending on what paper you use. Sometimes the envelopes will come with your, with your paper. Just get a clear, same kind of paper as your card and just match it up and then Fold it so that you can put your greeting inside and save your card a little longer. So that's the end of making the cards. This one is the card that I did yesterday and you can see the difference on white paper and those are little pansies. So it shows up much clearer. And this is the card that my mom made almost 30 years ago, yes, and for my husband, Hank. This is a birthday card. And this is what I'm talking about. She has this separate paper inserted inside of the card with a special, special greeting. And it says, Hadi Wembot Eki Ubi Nava Iwe Umpobi Muni Hera Ubi Oen Tansua We Un De Ipi Hichan Di Payo Ihe Ta Navisigi We Megi Satya. And it says on the other side to Hank on your birthday, may there always be a garden of wild flowers in your heart and sunshine in your path. Happy birthday, love Satya. So she used to make her own cards. These cards were our, our eggs and potatoes and flour and salt and what have you when we didn't have the money to, to buy our groceries. So this was what she used to do to feed her family. And she did this every year. This card I gave to my husband every year. He said, give me this birthday card every year. And so Hank's been getting this every year since he received the card. And sometimes he forgets that he goes, oh yeah, it's my birthday again. And it's card. So it's, it's really a truly a special card.